everybody, my name's Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for chair yoga. So welcome and thank you for taking the time to be here today. Making sure that your chair is comfy, stable, that you've got a bunch of space around you so that you won't be bumping yourself and anything you need handy, like a water bottle. And then settling into a place that feels comfortable for you. Maybe using the back of your chair or sitting forward. Feet at a comfortable distance and toes spread wide or even imagined toes spread wide, connecting downwards. Rooting down through your feet, through your seat, into the chair. And then lifting from there up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Collarbones are wide and shoulders are settled down. Allowing yourself a full breath. Exhaling it out, relaxing into this moment. And you can go ahead and soften your gaze, lower your gaze or close your eyes if you're comfortable. And we start to, with those longer breaths and those deeper exhales, allowing ourselves to settle into this moment. Allowing the breath to settle too. As we start to draw our awareness in to this moment right now, noticing the support underneath us, noticing the space around you, turning your awareness inwards and allowing yourself to connect to simply how you're feeling today. there's a lot on your mind or a lot going on in your life right now, a lot of emotions present, be open and acknowledge that that is your reality right now. Rather than pushing them away or not wanting to feel that, just simply welcome it as it is. No judgment with the compassion that you would offer your dearest friend. Notice how your body's feeling. Turn your awareness inside and notice how you experience your body in this moment. Stories will arise. Just notice them as they come up. Notice sensations, tightness, tension, comfort, strength, little to no awareness. Maybe there's things that are drawing your awareness or attention to them. So today as you move through your practice, you can be careful of those areas and take extra care of them. Be aware of your energy levels. Not needing it to be different, just acknowledge what feels this present in this moment. And if there is tension, tightness, or discomfort, is there anything you can shift and change here or adjust for that to feel a little easier? and offer yourself that opportunity, not thinking that you have to do this a certain way. Bringing your awareness to your breath. Considering breathing in and out through the nose, if it's comfy, and starting to notice that gentle pulse, that rhythm of breath. Noticing the sound of the exhale. And maybe start to focus a little more on that exhale, let the inhale take care of itself and notice how that exhale simulates the sound of a breeze in the trees 
branches or leaves of a tree or the ocean waves coming in and out on the shore. And put just 10% more effort into the exhale. And notice how smooth you can allow that exhale to become. And it's all going to be different for each of us, so there's nothing we particularly need to achieve here. It's just an exhale, a smoother exhale, listening to the sound of that exhale or following the length of that breath. And that's the breath we'll keep for the rest of the practice. There's ocean exhales. If there's another breath that arises or feels better for you, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, that will bring us back to this moment, those listening to those exhales. As we root down, feet in seat and rise from there, ocean exhales, collarbones wide, shoulders soft. And from here, Ocean exhales, we're going to draw our gaze towards the right side. Allow the left arm to drop softly, elbow bent, elbow straight, doesn't really matter. And then we're circling through that shoulder. Ocean exhales, focusing on those steady exhales. Noticing where you feel this in your body. and allow the movement to be as steady and as smooth as you can allow your breath to become. And then in your own time, taking that round in the opposite direction, gazing off towards the right, you can readjust your neck, your head at any point. Notice where you feel this, how this translates into sensation of your body. Ocean exhales. Another full breath. And then bringing that left hand back to support, drawing yourself back to center. And then over to the other side. Right arm soft, draping down, elbow bent or straight, your choice. But we start to circle. Ocean exhales. Noticing if there's something with the movement you can adjust or adapt so it feels better, more comfortable for you, steadier for you. Ocean exhales. Allowing that exhale to guide that movement. And then we'll take it around in the opposite direction when you're ready. You may feel this in different parts of your body. Ocean exhales. Mm -hmm. Coming all the way back to center. Right hand supported. From here seated, cat and cow. So if you wanted to sit away from the back of your chair so you have a little more movement through the spine, you can go ahead. On the inhale, we draw the heels of the hands back towards the pelvis, up through the thighs, shoulder blades come towards each other, and we've got that open heart extension through the spine, so there's this bow in the front of the body somewhat. On the exhale, fingertips slide towards or on the knees, and we curl into the back body as if we could press the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Inhaling forward, exhaling back. I highly recommend if you feel stable enough to soften your gaze, lower your gaze, close your eyes and feel into those ocean exhales. So rounding the belly in towards the spine and find the laziness within that exhale that feels like a soft, almost groundedness. And if you
you want to bring the arms in, we'll take the arms up as wide or as close to each other as you like. That's the inhale and the exhale. We'll curl down, ocean exhales. Following that long, steady exhale as steadily and as smoothly as you can. Following the breath, so that ocean exhale steadies and slows down the exhale movement. Allow the inhale to take care of itself. We've got another three breaths here. Last one. And coming all the way back to center. Any adjustments you need, go ahead. And from here, rooting to rise, coming into a twist. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me, but you can just stay face on. I'm going to be turning to the left to start with. Taking the arms out in front of you. Palms soft fists, whatever feels comfy. Elbows can be bent or it can be out in front of you, down or up, your choice. This is the inhale. On that ocean exhale, as if we had a bow and arrow, we're drawing back that elbow. That's the exhale, following through with that movement all the way back behind you. The gaze can come back over that shoulder if you feel comfortable, inhaling back to center. Exhaling, drawing back and inhaling back to center. Listen to the sound of your exhale as the elbow draws back to your own range of motion. Notice what's happening with the right side of your pelvis as the left elbow draws back. Notice if that right hip is sneaking forward. If it is, root the pelvis down so the twist stays within the body, within the um, spine, so we're not getting the pelvis involved, to really isolate the movement. Following that exhale breath all the way out. Nice, another one, and then we'll come to the other side. This time the right elbow draws back, Inhaling back to center, taking the gaze with you. You can even take the gaze over that right shoulder. Listen to the entire length of the exhale. Noticing what's happening with the left hip as you draw the elbow back, if it's sneaking forward, connect it down to the chair so the movement is again isolated through the spine so we're not getting the pelvis involved. to different things. So I'm going to slide a little bit more forward on my chair to give myself a little bit more space, but you get to decide what feels safe and comfortable for you. Rooting to rise. Neutral spine here. As if you had a laser beam coming out from the crown of your head. Head, heart and hips more or less in alignment and that'll be different for each of us. You're going to start to create a circle through the crown of your head, as if you were drawing with that laser beam on top of the ceiling in a perfect circle. Chin drawn in slightly towards your chest, collarbones wide. It doesn't have to be a big movement. You'll notice as you're rotating around in a circle, if your spine is moving in different directions, if you can keep it as if 
it were in alignment. You'll notice how your weights coming from one side to the other, forward and back, connect down with your feet, and then we'll go around in the opposite direction. And again, noticing if you make this movement smaller, if it feels more manageable for you. Bigger is not better here at all. What we want is the awareness to the spine. Nice, coming all the way back to center when you're ready, reaching to rise. You're gonna take your two peace fingers to your belly button and slide those fingers down a couple of centimeters just below the belly button. Resting those fingers on your clothes. Sense the fingers, you're not digging in, you're just resting them there. Sense your fingers on your clothes and as if those fingers just turned into ice cubes, draw the lower belly away from the fingers. It's not a big <gasps> holding the breath, the breath is steady. Those ocean exhales, but we're just drawing the skin of the lower belly away from those fingertips. Breath is steady. And then when you're ready, release that and notice the softening through the very central channel of the body, especially in those lower transverse abdominals, which is in fact what we're engaging. Those are the deep three layers in muscles underneath your lower abdominals. So again, peace fingers, belly button comes down a couple of centimeters, steady the breath, ocean exhales, and then those fingertips turn into ice cubes. We just draw the skin away with the belly. We just draw it in slightly. That's the engagement. We're going to keep that ocean exhales. This is the inhale. On the exhale, you're going to just draw the shoulders forward. Hands are supporting you. Inhaling up, exhaling forward. Now with that engagement here, there's a slight drawing in of the belly towards the spine. So that supports the lower back as well. Collarbones are wide and those front ribs are drawn in with that engagement. Inhaling and exhaling. It's almost like we're on an invisible rocking chair. If you want to, consider hovering the hands and notice if you do not need the support of your hands. It's not a very big movement. You don't have to come forward, but it's a whole lot of engagement around that corset of um, muscles around the lower abdominals. Nice. If you want to add on, elbows come in, thumbs to the skies if you're holding a box. This is the inhale. On the exhale, as you come forward, sliding your hands forward any amount is going to add weight in the front of your body, which means the, um, that corset of muscles has to do a whole lot more work. So go steady. Ocean exhales, listen to the sound of that exhale as you come forward, inhaling back to center. You've still got that ice cube engagement and the front ribs are drawn in, collarbones wide. Option to pulse, option next time you come forward to stay, three breaths. Collarbones are wide. Front ribs drawn in, we've got that ice cube engagement, ocean exhales, last breath, stay for the exhale, and on the inhale we're coming all the way up, hands come down. Any movement you need to release tension, take a big breath in, exhale it out, soften that engagement, uh -huh. come back to those steady ocean exhales, rooting to rise. Ice cube engagement, you may or may not need the fingers. Collarbones wide, shoulders soft. This is now the inhale. Keeping the engagement through the belly. Front ribs drawn in, everything's at ease. This is the inhale. Exhale, we're just drawing our shoulders back behind us, inhaling up. It's not going to take very much for the lower abdominals to have to do a whole lot of work. We're just using our upper body weight with the weight of our head 
to start to engage those transverse abdominals. Transverse abdominals are the muscles that help our posture, that hold our spine. Again, three layers in, inhaling and exhaling, chin drawn in towards your chest. And again, it's not a very big movement. Now, to add on, arms can come out, thumbs to the sky, as wide or as close together as you like, and that will allow you, as that is um, weight in the front of your body, that will allow you maybe to come back even further. Maybe, maybe not, you get to try that out. Inhaling to center, exhaling back, collarbones are wide, front ribs are drawn in, we've still got that ice cube engagement, and we've got those exhales, those ocean exhales. Option to pulse. Next option is to come back and stay. Steady breaths. Notice how it feels. Add on or take away as you need to. One last breath. And then when you're ready, inhaling back up. Hands come down if you are using them. Any softness you need, go ahead. Take a big breath in, exhale it out. Taking the feet a little wider, adjusting yourself on your chair as you need to. Rooting to rise, ocean exhales. And then we're circling with the ribs. Inhaling forward, exhaling back, but coming round, barrel rolls through the ribs. And again, because there's no momentum in this movement, this is all about the control of the movement with that corset of muscles. This can be as big or as small a movement as suits you, no right and wrong here. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. Noticing how this feels. Close your eyes, lower your gaze, soften your gaze, whatever feels comfortable for you to go inside and notice what your body is telling you is the best way for you to move your intuitive sense of this. Another couple. And then when you're ready, coming all the way back up to center. Rooting to rise. This is the inhale. I'm going to turn towards the left side by dipping forward and down with the right shoulder, pushing against the right thigh as we turn to the left. Inhaling back to center, exhaling, dipping that shoulder down. You may need to sit back on your chair to feel a little bit more stable as we're bringing the upper body forward. Ocean exhales. So that dipping down of the shoulder, that twisting, is the exhale. Allow that to be as steady and as smooth as the breath. Gazing back over that left shoulder, if that feels good in your body. Adjusting anything you need to, to work again with your body and not against it. Got two more to go, and then we're gonna come to the right side straight away. Inhaling to center, exhaling, twisting to the right side. And this side may feel very different to you. Ocean exhales, allowing that exhale to guide your movement. Always giving yourself permission to change things up. Gazing over that right shoulder, if that feels good in your neck. Another three 
here and then we'll go side to side. And if you don't want to go side to side, then four each side, otherwise left and then right. If you're going one side, then switch it up to the other side, otherwise. And this is the last one. And then back to center. Heel toeing or drawing your feet in towards each other. You can rest back in the chair if you like, taking a breath in. Exhaling it out and then come back to those steady ocean exhales. Lengthening the breath and noticing how you're feeling at this moment, checking back in with yourself. Stay here for as long as you like, or for those of you who would like to, I'll meet you down on the floor and bring with you everything you need for relaxation as well. I'll see you there. Here we are on the floor and we're going to come all the way down onto our back and I'll guide you from there. So getting comfortable, making sure you have any softness you need underneath you. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, adjusting yourself. Coming back to the support underneath you the steadiness of the breath and those ocean exhales, listening to the sound of your breath on that steady exhale. Hands come down to rest next to you, about hip height-ish. And then on the inhale, drifting the arms up towards the ceiling, maybe even back behind you and exhaling down. Inhaling, they lift up, exhaling down. Now, depending on how it feels in your shoulders, sometimes the wider we have our hands, the easier that feels. Play around with what feels good to you. Soften the gaze, close the eyes if that feels more connection and those ocean exhales, those steady, beautiful exhales on the way down. Option to stay here. Option on the exhale is to bring one knee in towards your chest. You can give yourself a hug, side of the thigh, underneath the knee in front of the shin. That's the exhale. Inhale, foot comes down, arms go overhead, other knee. On the exhale, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, ocean exhales, feel into it. Great place to be, staying here, going from side to side with those ocean exhales. If you want to add on, we're going to stay on one side. Exhaling, the knee comes in, foot comes down, lifting up, staying on one side for now, or going side to side if you don't want to add on. Rather than taking the foot down to the floor, next inhale, shooting the leg up towards the sky or further away from you. That's the inhale. Exhale, curling it in. You can even hover the heel from the mat, not touching down, or taking the leg up towards the sky. The knee does not have to be straight. This is your movement. You can do every other one. You can come back to what you were doing before with the foot on the floor, knee bent. Going from side to side, your choice. Or on this one side, we're here for another three.
the last one so it comes down to the floor other knee draws in this is the exhale inhaling arms overhead foot comes up towards the sky or shooting away from you any amount and this side may feel very different from the other side so taking it easy steady the breath ocean exhales the breath's getting ragged then rest or do every other movement inhaling and exhaling smooth the movement out as best as you can we have another three to go last one and then we're resting that foot down on the floor take a breath in exhale it out settle the breath settle how you're feeling settle the shoulders that was a lot in the shoulders and then from here I'm going to draw one knee in again, your choice. Notice how this feels through your body. Option to stay here. Option to take the opposite arm out, hand to the knee, knee towards the sky, and we're circling through the hip joint. So we just went through the knees and now we're getting into the lubrication of the hip. Ocean exhales. Option to stay here with the hand on or towards the knee or option to let the hip go along with its own journey. Notice which direction you're going in. And then the option is to extend out that leg towards the end of your mat, very much like you were doing a moment ago. There may be a swaying a, a movement through the whole body as you're moving through not only the hip here, but as it's coming out and down there's probably going to be a rocking through the pelvis, a gentle twisting through the spine. So as much or as little as you want. And then the option is to pause when you're ready and then going around in the opposite direction. And again, you can come back to hand on the knee and this is maybe a great place to stay for you. Or lengthening out through that leg. Getting again that range of motion through the hip. And then, if you're extending the leg, obviously we're getting into the knee lubrication as well. Building up that synovial fluid so it becomes easier to move. But working in your own rhythm, resting when you need to. Another two to go. The next time the knee comes in, it's going to stay. Big breath in, exhale it out. Foot comes down to the floor. And then here we go on the other side, drawing the knee in. Give it a little hug. Hand to the knee, opposite arm is rooted and we're circling. ocean exhales feeling into the length of your breath option to stay here hand on or towards the knee option to release it 
if that feels comfortable for you. And of course, the option is to start to lengthen the leg. Ocean exhales. Only the movement that feels sustainable, comfortable, that your body is not contracting because it doesn't feel safe. Stay within a place where it feels that the breath as ocean exhales are steady. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and go around in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling, ocean exhales. How does that feel in your body for another three resting if you prefer? And at the end of the next breath, when the knee comes in, give it a little hug. Steady the breath. And from there, drawing the opposite knee in too, right? allowing movement to come in if that feels good to you. And from there, grounding through the arms in your own way. And then sending the feet softly up towards the sky. Easy bend through the knees, ankles, hips are easy. And they can be very bent or they can be extended up. And notice how this feels here as we're draining all that energy, all that lymphatic energy as well, all the fluids coming down an option to take the arms up too. Now staying in a place that feels comfortable. So if it feels better for your heels to be resting in and your knees to be elevated, then go ahead. Allow your arms and legs to ground into the earth. Option to circle through the wrists and ankles slowly, ocean exhale. Listen to the sound of those exhales. And then we'll go around in the opposite direction when you're ready. Coming back to center. Hands come down, resting where they're comfortable. One knee down, foot comes down, and the other knee and foot join you. From here, picking up through the pelvis, allowing the hips to come to the right side and extending out the left leg. Right arm is grounded in your own way. Right knee draws in and over to the left. You can pulse in and out. You can pulse with your knee, high or low. You can stay in stillness, taking the gaze over the right shoulder. If that feels good to you, any props you may need, please adjust. Allow the breath to be easy. Listen to those ocean exhales as they come and go. Every exhale, imagine you could release into the shape just a little more.
When you're ready, the gaze comes to center and the knee comes to center. Right foot down, left knee comes to join it. Hips come back to center and then over to the left. Right leg extends, left arm is connected downwards, shoulder connected downwards as the left knee draws in and over to the right. Again, pulsing in movement, in and out of the twist, up and down with the knee, resting on any props that may aid you, feel more comfortable here. Gaze can come over and away from the knee. Resting in your breath as ocean exhales. And when you feel ready, drawing the gaze to center, knee comes up, we readjust back into center. If there's anything else you need from your practice before you rest, go ahead and take it. Otherwise, coming from here into relaxation your own way, Take your time, bring with you everything you need for your comfort, and as you get settled, I will come up to guide you. Take a full breath in when you're ready. Exhale it out slow and steady. As you start to allow your body to settle here, we'll come into a little bit of breath work. You can follow along or just rest in your relaxation and let my voice float over you and not disturb you as you Rest deeper and deeper into that sense of peacefulness, of stillness. Otherwise, you're starting to notice your inhales and exhales. And notice the count of your inhale and your exhale. And we all breathe differently, we all count differently, so there's not a particular number we have to get to. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable. Counting your inhale and exhale until you have a really good idea of the rhythm. How long the inhale takes and how long the exhale takes. you to do is even that out so it becomes balanced as best as possible and it doesn't have to be perfect we're not interested in that so if your inhale is one and your exhale is two then consider balancing the inhale to two and the exhale to two or a count and a half for each of them one and a half in one and a half out So we have a balanced breath in and as much as we can a balanced breath out same count in same count out more or less whatever your count may be it's perfect for you We're going to keep that inhale and exhale count and we're going to add pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath incrementally. So 
For example, if your inhale is two, at the top of your inhale, you'll count and pause the breath for two. Exhale for two. And then go straight into the inhale. So triangular breath to start with until we get into the square breathing or box breath. So when you're ready, whatever your count is, the next top of your inhale, you'll pause the breath for the same count. And then exhale to your count, going straight into the inhale. If at any time this is uncomfortable for you or you need to switch or change up the count, go ahead. This is your practice. You get to decide. Continue with that triangular breath, inhaling for your count, pausing for your count at the top of the inhale and exhaling the same count out. You can continue like that or adding at the bottom of the exhale the same count of pause before the inhale. For example, inhaling to two, pausing for two, exhaling for two, pausing for two, and continuing. So if you'd like to, go ahead in your own time, box, breath, even imagining a square, the inhaling up one side of the square, pausing across the top, exhaling down the other side and pausing along the bottom. uncomfortable for you in any way or if there's another breath or a previous modification that felt better for you always choose what feels comfortable and what your intuition guides you towards More or less another 10 breaths like this, releasing as you need to if you want to come out early. another three breaths in your own way and rhythm. At the end of your next pause at the bottom of your exhale, come back to natural Easy breath. In your own way, no controlling the breath at all, allow it to simply come back to its own easy rhythm. Notice the effects of the breath practice as you rest deeper and deeper into your relaxation. and tightness 
to dissolve like sugar in water as fast as you can. Allowing thoughts to drift in and out, paying little or no attention to them. And rest in a sense of being and not doing. Stay here for as long as you like, not needing to listen to my guidance to come out. Or if those of you would like to finish your practice, just start to bring your awareness, settle it back down into your body and fill it from the toes to the fingertips to the crown of your head. Notice the support underneath you and the breath within your body and how your body responds to the breath. In your own way, starting to expand the breath so you start to bring a little more mindfulness and energy in allow the exhale to be soft and easy resting within any stillness that you may have found and keeping that sense of quietness within allow movements to awaken in your body in their own way and you may wish to finish your practice just as you are We're taking some moments to come to a place where you would like to finish. Take your time, move gently, be gentle and slow with yourself. And settling into a place of ease and gathering your hands into a gesture that makes sense for you. Steady breath in and exhale, chin comes down towards your chest, softly closing your eyes if that's comfortable or lowering or softening your gaze. Tapping back into that sense of quiet or peace you may have found, however fleeting, that sense of being. Take a breath of gratitude for your experience today. Exhaling it out. And take a breath of gratitude for yourself for taking this time for yourself. I thank each of you for being here. From my heart to yours, thank you so much for your time and attention. Namaste.